Today we are talking multifamily in Cleveland, folks. Why? Because Cleveland's one of the most popular markets out there for investors. One. Two. Now's a really good time to buy, dude. The market is going down. That means there's money to be made. The last crash, oh my, the 08 crash, folks. I don't know about y'all, but I made millions during that crash, and I'm thinking we're going to be able to make millions again. And the person I'm trying to make money for today is an investor all the way down south in Boca Raton, Florida, my man Jason. Now, Jason, you're choosing to invest here in Ohio because it's a whole lot cheaper. Price to rent ratios are very attractive, and you could do a lot of damage with a little bit of cash. And I really think you're going to be very interested in this fourplex opportunity. Let's take a look. I am James Wise, and I am here to help you make money. I'm going to be running the numbers on a real deal you want to be here yeah we're gonna go out of state but of course you know my team's gonna take care of that let's check it out welcome to the show y'all my name is james wise and i am here for you right i help investors from all over the world invest in cash flow rental properties okay now, we're going to be looking at this apartment building today. This is a four-unit apartment building. Now, I do things a little bit differently than a lot of other real estate agents, right? I like to give it to you guys straight. I like to give it to you guys in an unedited, unfluffed way, right? I say things like, fuck this motherfucking house. It sucks fat dicks, right? I say stuff like that. I'm not like your typical 55-year-old white woman realtor who wears pearl necklaces and is always like oh look at this glorious woodwork blah 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 so much charm and ownership pride of ownership i don't fuck with that shit all right if the house is dog shit i'm gonna let you know right if the house is good i'll let you know if it'll make you money i'll let you know i'll let you know if it's dog shit but you can make money anyway right that's what i do so if that's something you're interested in, I suggest you subscribe to Holden Wise TV. If you're like, oh, my God, this guy's so professional. He's offensive. Ah, you should probably fucking click off the video, you fucking pussy. Anyway, now, this particular property, uh, 2717 Tate Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, okay? This is in a neighborhood called Old Brooklyn, right? This is what I consider to be a C-grade neighborhood. Now, when I say C-grade neighborhood, let me try to pull that back up again. When I say C-grade neighborhood, folks, what you need to do is in the notes of this video or you can go to the tools and resource section of HoltonWise.com. You want to check out the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods to see what I mean when I say C because I've graded all the neighborhoods in the greater Cleveland area on an A to F scale. But more or less... Like your C-grade neighborhoods, folks, you're not going to have a whole bunch of teardowns, right? You got pretty much all the houses that are supposed to be there are still there. You don't see a lot of boarded up stuff. But you will see a little bit of sketch, right? These are neighborhoods uh, where you should definitely be open to Section 8 investing because sometimes collecting rent can be rather difficult. Now, my company, Holton Wise, we're probably the largest company in regards to managing C-grade assets, especially in this old Brooklyn neighborhood, okay? We have thousands of these things, right? Just trying to give you guys a little feel uh, for the investment property here, right? This big old fourplex. Now, it has been recently renovated, which is nice, okay? Let's read what the listing agent seller said. Attention investors, hard to come by fourplex in an established old Brooklyn neighborhood. Enjoy the security of steady cash flow with this fully occupied four-unit property. Current rents total 1600 for three units. One unit is currently vacant, but was rented for 625 a month. This, this guy's not good at writing a listing description, right? <laughs> oh, man. Enjoy the security of steady cash flow with this fully occupied four-unit property. Very next sentence. One unit is not occupied. Come on, dog! Shit. All right, so we got three units. Three of the four, okay? Three of the four, right? Features and recent updates include separate utility meters, roof siding, gutters, Three units completely remodeled, three furnaces replaced recently, and a partial privacy fence. All right, the partial privacy fence does not make you any money. 
But those uh, three new furnaces, that's great. Furnaces are like $3,500 a pop, folks. So let's do some math at home. I was like... 35, 7, that's like $10,500 worth of furnaces. Furnaces last about 30 years, right? So that is a capital expenditure uh, you're not going to have to really worry about, right? So two of the units uh, that are occupied are occupied at 495 and 480 Those are actually um, under market value, right? Market value for those is going to be 650 and those two bedroom units is actually going to be 800. Now, what's going on uh, with that third unit? They don't have it listed, but we'll just do the math, right? So 1600 minus 495 minus 480. So they're getting six and a quarter, right? Okay, so they're two bed, one bath. They're getting six and a quarter, and then they're getting 495 and 480. But let's pop up the chart. This is what they should be getting, right? If a professional like Holton Wise is running this, that rent roll is going to be 8, 8, 650, 650, right? 2,900 is what you should focus your attention on, right? Because you don't want to focus your attention on what some random landlord is doing. You want to focus your attention on what you could be doing running it the right way, right? So that's 2,900, 34,000. 800 for the year but you don't get to keep all that folks that's not profit right i told you i cut it to you straight right so of the 2900 that's scheduled to come in every month i anticipate you spending more more than half of that right 1533 on average leaving you with a true noi of 1367 now some of that stuff is stuff you're gonna have to spend right all the time insurance right Taxes, property management, right? I ain't going to manage your property for free, right? But other stuff is stuff that we're planning for, right? I told you, it's a C-grade neighborhood, right? You're not renting uh, to two tenants coming into your unit with uh, both having bachelor degrees and an 800 credit score. That's not how it works in C-grade investing in the Cleveland market, y'all. So I factored in repairs and maintenance. I factored in vacancy and non-payment, right? If you watch my other show, the Tenants from Hell show, it's actually the most popular show here on Holton Wines TV, you'll see we deal with some sketchy stuff and we evict a lot of motherfuckers, right? So uh, you got to factor that kind of stuff in to get a true outlook of what you're looking at, right? We also have 140 five factored in every month for those capex items right 1740 right that's like a nice average but this has got some good things going for it right i told you we got like what like ten and a half thousand dollars recently spent on furnaces so we probably shouldn't be spending any of our capex budget on furnaces over the next like 25 years or so they just did a roof dude this is like a twelve thousand dollar roof right so that's banging right so 1367 is what i think uh will be your true noi now here's the good part let's get to the the price Right, the price they're asking for is two hundred ten thousand. It's been on the market almost three months. Right, what's happening uh, in the market right now, folks? By the way, we should probably take a look at their photos. They they presented us some photos uh, of the building, and they just did a nice little refresh. Right, so it's looking pretty good. So getting that uh, last unit reoccupied shouldn't be uh, too much of a cost. Right, it's a nice looking unit. All right, and then there's that uh, common basement with all the mechanicals. Right. So what do we got going on, though? 210,000, 67 days on the market. Why has it been on the market for so long, dude? Because they freaking doubled the interest rates over the last, like, six months, right? We're in the midst of going into a nice little housing uh, recession, dude. It's not as hot. If this was six months ago, eight months ago, this motherfucker probably would have sold for 250 k cash with, like, six buyers, right? Uh, but right now, I think we could squeeze. We could squeeze those sellers a little bit. I want to come in at 190. Now... If you want to pay cash, great. We could definitely probably have a really good chance of picking up at 190. You want to finance it, you can, right? I've ran the numbers under financing terms. Now, these financing terms uh, that you're seeing here, that's using a 5% interest rate, right? It's really hard for me right now uh, to try to project out interest rates for you guys because things are in such a flux, right? We started the year at three. Uh, I think we're at like six and a half, seven for some type of loan products. But then, you know, you got to remember there's other loan products out there that might start to sound a little bit better these days, right? How about the freaking 5-1 ARM? You know what I'm saying? The adjustable rate mortgage is starting to make a little bit of sense right now, folks. Also, 15-year mortgages, right? But any way you slice it, it's got a very high cash-on-cash -cash return. It's got a really good price-to-rent ratio. Plus, you also have the ability uh, to pay cash and then refinance later uh, when the rates drop. You can do a loan now if you don't have two hundred ten dollars or $190,000 in cash at the moment. Only put down that fifty k and then make more money refinancing when those rates do drop because people are projecting these rates to drop, folks. Uh, Fannie Mae's last two uh housing um 
forecasts have predicted the rates will drop in 2023, right? So uh, any way you slice it, it's a good deal. And we have the opportunity right now to come in and snag it lower than we could have like eight months ago because of interest rates being totally jacked. How you want to finance it, totally up to you. But either way, this thing is a banger in the fourplex is – Always been my favorite type of investment property because you can get the most amount of rental income while still qualifying for those 30-year mortgages, right? Once you jump into a five unit or six unit or seven or an eight or a nine or a 10, you no longer get to just get 25% down and then they finance the other 75% for 30 years. No, once you're into the commercial space, uh, you're dealing with like any loan, right? Five-year call, 20-year AM, 10-year call, shit like that. And then they factor it on the debt service coverage ratio. But when sellers are selling small buildings like that, they're usually not running them like pros. So the financing is is, is very difficult, right? Very, very small, like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten unit apartment buildings are not necessarily the most ideal thing in a commercial lender's portfolio, right? So you're like the smallest fish in a big-ass ocean when you're doing those. But if you buy a fourplex, you are now the biggest fish in a small pond and you get the best lending products. That's why I've always liked it. I think it's the greatest investment uh, for beginner investors, right? So you get 10 residential mortgages that are going to be federally insured, right? That are going to be backed by Fannie and Freddie and stuff like that. You know, don't consider moving on uh, to the five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't consider moving on to the commercial financing until you've exhausted all 10 of those mortgages. But do not buy 10 fourplexes. Please buy your first, uh, have your first mortgage be utilized for your own home. Take care of the roof over your head. Pay off your mortgage, not your landlord's mortgage first. Take care of home base first. And then after that, go ahead and grab yourself nine quads if possible. This one being one of them. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.